Welcome to EJM727. Today I'd like to discuss um, Photoshop. And, uh, one of the things that I always uh, go frustrating on is finding backgrounds that I can use for my websites. I'm currently redesigning uh, my EJMConsulting.org and I'm developing a new one, EJM727, uh, to uh, illustrate my new interest in video streaming and helping other people do other things. And one of my frustrations is finding the backgrounds that will fit my vision of what each site should have. I recently uh, attended a Photoshop seminar put on by uh, NAP. As you can see, I have their logo on my website or my stream at the moment and also uh, in association with Kelly Training. And one of the things I learned was that you can use, uh, you can take uh, things from other images that don't give you, so you don't have to fight to get, uh, get the background, and turn it into a pattern. And then that will, you can use that pattern anytime on anything, including making backgrounds. So I thought I'd show you uh, how I uh, determined how to do that recently. Uh, after attending this workshop. So I'm going to switch over to my desktop and uh, bear with me while I do this. We'll switch over to my source which is my desktop and we'll start uh, full desktop. Now let's go to partial and let me bring up my Photoshop program and I'm going to bring up one of the uh, backgrounds I'm thinking and I'm thinking of using maybe this black over here and possibly also making a pattern out of what's over here. So what you do first is find the pattern maker which is under filters you notice right here and here is the pattern maker. It brings up a window and what you do is you just pick the area where you want to uh, use as a pattern. And you make it as big as you want. You collect that and you hit generate. And it gives you a little view down here to see if that's what you want. And what I'm going to do in order to use it as a pattern is I have to, uh, let's see, where is it again? Bear with me. Oh, here it is. Save it as a preset pattern. I click on that and then I'm going to uh, put, uh, oops, let me try that again. I screwed something up. Huh. Let's do undo. This is this. Alright, let's try Pattern Maker again. Gotta be careful. Maybe I should use my mouse instead of my uh, keys. Go to Pattern Maker collect the area again, hit generate over here, then go to the save button down here, type space for what I'm going to call it, then hit OK. Oops. Let's go undo. Now, to see if I can use it, we'll just open up a new one. And if I remember right, let's see, how do we do this again? Probably should have checked this out before I did this. It's been a while since I've done it. paint bucket. Now what you do is once you're in paint bucket you go to pattern and then select which pattern that you want. Let's see if it's this one. Yeah, see? And that's how you do it. Now let's get one that was a little bit better. I'll say no here. And let's make another one out of what, what we've seen here earlier. 
we go back to filters, go to pattern maker, and let's let's make one out of this area. Hit generate. No, this is when when you say you, you, it's not what you want. Cancel. Try it again. Let's see what generate does there. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. No, it's not working out. And that's what happens sometimes. So let's go to a different one. No, that's the other one. Let me go back to this one over here. And this one has plenty to go with. So let's go back to Filter, Padded Maker. And let's grab these stars over here. Use generate. I like it. So let's save it. Let's say space two. Say okay. Hit. I gotta bring that one back up. Hopefully it's this one. Yep. All right, now to see if it worked, we'll go to new, bring up a new one, go to the bucket again, we get the pattern, go to this other one, and see, we developed our own uh, background again. Let me close out of this, because I want to make one more background out of this. Go to Filter, Pattern Maker. Let's see if we can grab this area. Let's see if we can get something decent. Hit Generate. I'll cancel that. I didn't really like it. Maybe I have to make it smaller. Got to go back into Pattern Maker, I guess. Uh, that's the reason. Maybe if I make it smaller, it won't look as bad. All right, generate. Interesting. Let's save it and see what it says. Where's my save button? There it is. Let's say, call it just pattern two for now. All right, hit cancel. Bring up a new, so we can see what it'll look like. We hit this. Go to pattern again. Not bad. switch back to my camera and I showed you how you can make your own backgrounds uh, using a pattern mink. Granted I didn't find some that I didn't like and you just gotta experiment until you find ones that meet your needs. Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, again this is EJM727 streaming on Ustream.tv generally Monday afternoons. Today I'm a little early. I'm doing it in the morning because I have something I have to I have to help a friend out in the afternoon. But you can generally find me uh, streaming on my Ustream account on Monday afternoons and I look forward to seeing you there. Hopefully I'll catch you. Anyway, have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.